Patrick's Perfect Mistake. Written by Paul Gibson. Illustrated by Philippe Maldonado. And read by the author. Patrick's family loved holidays. On the 4th of July, everyone was busy getting ready for their backyard picnic. Mom whipped up a batch of potato salad. Eddie swept the porch and Dad carried their big box of fireworks to the front yard. Mom said most of the neighbors would be coming. It would be an exciting party. Patrick sat on their swing and looked for a way to help. But sometimes it was hard to figure out what to do. Then he looked near the porch, where a whole line of colorful flowering bushes grew big and full. A great idea popped into his head. I'll water them, he called out with a smile. He ran and turned on the hose to spray the plants. It was a hot day, so Patrick decided to spray everything, including himself. He was having such a good time until he heard his name. Patrick, Eddie yelled, you ruined the fireworks. Patrick looked around. His big brother was right. The fireworks box was soaked and soggy. A mucky mess. Dad would have to buy more. Patrick frowned at his mistake and made the decision right then and there. I'll never mess up another special day. Promise, he told Dad. That's a pretty tall order, sport, said Dad, ruffling Patrick's wet hair. On Halloween, Eddie's friends came trick-or-treating and Patrick wanted to scare them. Instead, he dropped the treat bowl on the floor. Candy scattered everywhere. But Thanksgiving was the worst. The whole family crowded in their house for a delicious meal. When they finished their last bites of dinner, Patrick wanted to help with dessert. He asked for extra whipped cream on Grandma's slice of pumpkin pie, giggling as Dad piled it high. Patrick wanted to serve Grandma like a waiter in a fancy restaurant. He grabbed the pie plate, put a towel over his arm, and spun around and cur splat. The pie fell on Grandma's lap. Whipped cream splattered everywhere and even dripped from her nose. Everyone laughed, except Eddie. His scowl made Patrick feel foolish. You probably ruined her clothes, Eddie said. Grandma only said it was okay because she's so nice. Patrick frowned. Eddie was three years older and knew a lot about things. He was probably right. Christmas was Mom's favorite, so Patrick knew he could not risk that ruining that special day. He paid careful attention to everything he did. Patrick gently held every ornament and didn't break any when, the dec- when they decorated the tree. He kept secrets about presents to himself. Even when Eddie kept asking about them, he used two hands to make sure he did not drop anything he carried. Patrick meant business. Mom had gifts for practically everyone. She made chocolate crinkles and peppermint twists for some neighbors and had potted poinsettias for others. She even wrapped presents for different friends and teachers. One day, Mom needed help delivering gifts. Eddie and Patrick, you will be my elves, she said. Mom drove through the neighborhood, sending Patrick or Eddie to people's doors with gifts and treats. She had a special assignment for Patrick. Patrick, I want you to take the poinsettia to my friend Jenny. It's the yellow house. Patrick nodded and Mom drove off for the next house. He headed up the walkway to the front door and rang the bell, that sat on a pink wall. Uh Uh-oh. Hadn't Mom said Jenny's house was yellow? When the door swung open, Patrick's nightmare came true. He had blown it. Again. At Christmas. Patrick, how nice to see you, said the voice of an old lady. Patrick looked through the leaves and saw one of his grandma's friends, Miss Dorothy, Are these flowers for me? 
she asked with a big smile. Patrick didn't know what to do. He felt hot and got a worried knot in his stomach. He had no idea how to get out of this mess. All he could do was gulp and say, Merry Christmas. When Patrick got home, Mom was on the phone. Patrick waited in the corner, dreading what she would say when she found out about his mistake. Patrick heard some of Mom's conversation. I'm glad you like the flowers. Yes, Patrick is a sweet boy. You're welcome, Miss Dorothy. Mom hung up and knelt down in front of Patrick. It seems you took the poinsettias to Miss Dorothy, not Jenny. Patrick nodded. I think that is perfect, said Mom. She explained how pleased Miss Dorothy was and even said they would be sure to remember her next Christmas. Mom assured Patrick, don't worry, I'll take something to Jenny after dinner. And remember, everyone makes mistakes sometimes. We just need to learn how to make the best of it when we do. Mom had Patrick take flowers to Miss Dorothy the next year and the year after that, and every year from then on. By the time Patrick had grown up, he looked forward to visiting Miss Dorothy with flowers and even visited her when it wasn't Christmas time. On the day Patrick got married, Miss Dorothy was too old and weak to come to the wedding. So he took his bride to visit Miss Dorothy, bringing some flowers from the church. Patrick, how nice to see you, she said. And on this special day, you're always spoiling me with such pretty flowers. She hugged them both. Patrick thought about the first day he gave Miss Dorothy flowers. He had messed up, but just like Mom had said, he had made the best of it. And Patrick's big mistake ended up being, well, perfect. Perfect.